Uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, in today's video, I will be talking about Scopus. Uh, it is one of the important uh, source of getting information about your uh, research. So, Scopus is a kind of database uh, where uh, all the research people are doing throughout the world. Uh, you will find it here. So, uh, you cannot uh, access it. Uh, without um, uh, your institutions uh, uh, need to get access so uh, you need to access this software uh, of this database uh, and it's very expensive to buy by your own uh, and there is also another way to uh, get access to Scopus for instance if you get a, a review and if you do a review for a, for a journal uh, and when you complete your review and when you submit your review uh, uh, and they will give you access for one month so this is now I am enter here the to the Scopus and there are uh, uh, basic things uh, uh, I want to explain uh, the first thing is the documents if you want to search uh, your field your research uh, by documents so this is documents and uh, this is a very comprehensive software or uh, sorry this is the database where you will find all information about research if you want to find if if single author if someone publish a single paper in any journal if someone publish a single paper in any journal this corpus will give you information about that author about that uh, institutions from where he published uh, his paper and all the detail so this is about documents and if you are talking about authors if you are interested in authors so just write the author name last name author first name and if you know the affiliation the affiliation mean where he belongs where he is working uh, if he knows you know about this uh, ID this is uh, research IDs uh, and without these things just put his last name and first name so they will give information uh, only affiliation also work here you just put only affiliation like uh, uh, in a department like uh, department of physics uh, University of uh, 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 New Zealand or something so you just give the department name in your university name uh, and it will, it will give you to the uh, detail so first let's go to documents and let me give you a search and you know here is uh, uh, slowly I will make uh, a series of video on this one so search for instance if I want to search about ferroscite solar cell okay, I am interested in ferroscite solar cell and what I am telling to the scopus I am telling to the scopus that uh, please search these these words are the Pruskar Stuller cell uh, in article title if you are writing an article there is one title uh, there is abstract and there is a keyword these are the very important thing so I am telling to the uh, this database that please search uh, uh, this Pruskar Stuller cell in article title and abstract and keyword if you are not interested in if you say only let's see uh, an article title uh, just give me the information or give me the record about the Pruskar Stuller seal where it only appear in article title but now I am interested in all these three article title abstract and keyword let's do a research search so when we click the uh, search button so it will give me all information about uh, the uh, Scopus you see here so this is it give me about 11,571 documents this number of document has been published so far in Peruscat Solar Sea so the documents the Scopus took is from uh, Scopus search and title of the paper Scopus search abstract and Scopus search keywords or title okay and uh, let me give slowly here that uh, when the Puruskat solar cell uh, uh, has been started so we will see here so this means that uh, the Puruskat solar cell has been started uh, uh, since uh, 
1981. Actually, it is only one one document in these years, but the actual result of uh, Peruscar Sorcil has been started in 2008. You see, from this onward, uh, the number dramatically increasing. In 2012, uh, number of papers 81. In 2015, uh, the number of papers are this. In 2017, you see a lot of number. So uh, this is how it will give you all information about uh, uh, the Peruscar Solar Seal. Now, if I am interested to find uh, the latest result in Peruscar Solar Seal, for instance, the 2019 papers, just click it here. In 2019, if I want to know the latest research in Peruscar Solar Seal, just click the 2019. There are how many papers? 2,242. And just you click limited to. When you click limited to, so it will give you only the paper of 2019. This is very, very important. You see, it give me only the paper uh, have been published in 2019. Now, for instance, uh, this is a paper here. For instance, uh, this is the title and these are the other name. And it published in Organic Electronics in 2019. Okay, this is all about things. Now, if you want to go to this paper, uh, uh, this just click in this uh, view at publisher. When you click it, so you will reach to the uh, that particular journal there, uh, in uh, that particular uh, uh, title. So I need to sign in here, and because. Uh, if you do not have access to those journal so uh, but I have already signed in here so you see uh, I click in this four number paper overcoming the interface losses in mesophorus this prescribed solar cell uh, bronze state acid is an effective interface layer. this one you see here very nice these are the other organic electronics volume 75 and this is page number you see so now you can read here you see lipstick is here all about uh, this is how you can find your uh, research. Uh, how can you uh, know which area people are working uh, and in which area people are not working. This is a very, very comprehensive database. And this was a short video. Uh, and next video, I will uh, go into detail and I will explain how you can do research and how you can collect data and all about these things. So I hope you, you understand a little bit. Uh, how to use Scopus? Uh, first of all, you need uh, uh, an institution email, or uh, you need to have access uh, from your institution side. Uh, as I told you that uh, journal uh, send uh, paper per review purpose. So if you receive a review, and, and you, when you do a review for the journal, and when you complete it and you send back the review, so they will send you uh, an email, and they will give you access of the Scopus per one month. So there are two ways to get a access. Individually, it is very hard. It's a million dollars access to the Scopus. Uh, this Scopus uh, collect the data from all publisher, from Nature, from American Chemical Society, by Elsevier, from Royal Society, IOP, from all journals, all publisher. It get the data and information. And I will be trying my best to make this Scopus very simple and make it understandable and make it um, a common user use for every researcher thanks for watching